Wow. Uh, coming back to Westview, my uh, former school, um, the place where I was groomed, where I was taught many years ago. Um, it's such an inspiration, but at the same time a privilege. Say, I am. I am. Worthy. Worthy. I am. I am. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am. I am. Love. Love. I have the opportunity now to be on the other side um, to encourage the youth that were once in my position. And uh, it feels great. It feels great that I have that opportunity to do that. There's a high need for um, effective communication, the techniques to learning what that is. Um, and there's a need for um, mentors, role models. I know what Jane Finch is. It's a place of potential. It's a place of gifts. And I had the girls come up and I had them recite the poem that I've written, I Am Revolution. And I got to see firsthand them before my eyes go from good to great, from not sure to confidence. And, uh, and they themselves recognize that and I think that was one of the highlights of uh, the program to me. The program is a four-week program and we work with um, some key components. So in the first week we talk about um, the introduction of your characteristics, some of uh, your multiple intelligence of what category you fit in. Um, in the second week we talk about voice dynamics and how you can use that uh, in school, how you can use that in society. Third week we talk about body language um, and in the fourth week we talk about word choice and the power of using the right words. There's nothing like using the right word at the right time to make an effect on people's lives. We empower our students to become leaders, to stand, and the boldness to stand and to be unique within a group. And so, if you leave with that alone, that can take you through the course of life. Look at great people like uh, Rosa Parks, before she was a woman, she was a girl. And I know at some point that someone came along to inspire her, um, that she had a voice, whether we know it or not. Someone came along and said, I believe in you. Who knows? These girls can be the next Rosa Parks in Canada and in the world. And so that's our hope, that we can channel their voice, which they already have, into a place where they are standing up for something that will leave a significant change for generations to come. We have a reputation and if one person can be different, it's like a starting a beginning. A beginning. There's power in variety, all right? So we had a mixture of uh, people from different backgrounds and um, different genders. The spin um, alone um, within the program uh, gave the students um, an equal balance. Um, receive as far as information, and I think we succeeded doing that. It's one thing to stick to the requirements of the curriculum, but it's another thing to be able to kind of take what you're learning and um, and kind of be able to apply it to your own life and having people from outside of the classroom come into the classroom and share their experiences kind of allows you to open up and come vulnerable and speak about your experiences. From this experience, I've learned a lot, but the main one is being confident in yourself. And like, so in the past two years, in middle school, I was really shy at first. And then like my teachers would start talking to me about being, being confident. And I never listened and stuff because that's, to me, it was a waste of time. So then, when I came to high school, my teachers were like, you gotta be confident. It's like, confidence is gonna get you somewhere in life. And you shouldn't like, make um, fear take over your life. And always be positive in yourself. I wanna, I wanna show the Janie Finch area in a different light. What people don't see um, is the, the young leaders that are present, the 
people that have dreams and aspirations they don't they don't see that and I want this to be a platform where we get to see a different perspective of what youth are carrying in this region uh, what subject do you like English. English? Why do you like English? Because I don't like this like You just like it. And if we can do that and kind of shift the perception away from the common stereotype, then we succeeded. We need to show the world, we need to show the GTA and the world of what kind of youth we have in these communities. Yeah, bring it out, bring it all out. Instead of the stereotypes. It only takes one.